how's it going everybody expat stacker coming to you with a community trade video and um, just a little uh, preface to this video I'm gonna be playing around with different camera angles and different lighting setups and stuff like that in near future videos I just bought like a new little setup so bear with me as I do that I do try to be consistent any feedback you guys want to give me uh, would be appreciated but uh, just letting you know that um, there might be some minor changes but eventually I'll get the feel for it and work it out and give you a consistent setup so uh, just jump right into it you guys know I've been collecting the Lunar 2 series here one ounce silver from the Perth Mint and I have everything except for the 2011 year of the rabbit and the 2017 year of the rooster why well, I did a community trade and came up on the year of the rooster so there it is got a family of roosters there really nice looking coin I like the lunar 2 series a lot the coins are big the designs are simple but nice um, really great uh, slight imperfection here on the coin the copper spot there you can see but um, the person I did the trade with let me know about that beforehand so I'm not really that worried about it um, so yeah we're gonna be adding this one to the collection and now I just need that 2011 year of the rabbit and then I will have collected all of them independently let me show you what I traded for this. Um, you may have seen this uh, on my channel or on Aloha Stackers channel before. This comes from the Korea Gold Exchange, which is one of the premier um, bullion dealers here in Korea. Um, just in case you're wondering what this says, this symbol right here just means that it's a, a company that has stocks. And then it says Hangukum Koreso, which is a Korea Gold Exchange, Jepumun, Kogugnim Ge which is uh, the product to the customer so they don't um, change the quality that they give to their customers and then it just has their um, number there uh, once again it just says the name of the company and uh, this is the Dokto Metal um, I sent this, I traded one of these with Aloha for a, a Morgan dollar because I didn't have one of those and I felt like that's kind of a piece of US history so I felt like this was a good exchange for that because this is kind of a piece of Korean um, history and heritage and um, these are quite limited metals, uh, has a natural monument number 336 it has the korea gold exchange mark and then it has the sea and the eyelets there with some seagulls and then it says dokto uh this is a controversial place um between korea and japan uh japan claims these eyelets to be theirs korea claims that they're historically korean uh there's a korean military base there so for all um practical purposes this is korean territory and you know i happen to also believe the korean version of the story um this here says hangugui arum down som so korea's beautiful islands that's what it says and uh it just has a you know design with uh, the islands there four nine fine one ounce silver dokdo beautiful islands of korea so i had three of these i traded uh aloha one and then um, the person I traded with, I offered this to them. These are going for about like over $50 um, if you do the exchange currency rate. So um, I figured that was like a good premium and something that's a little difficult to find. So as far as um, collectability wise, it's kind of not as well recognized as the Perth Mint, but, uh, you know, very similar and interesting nonetheless. So there you have it, guys. Community trade. I'm not going to say the person that I traded with, although many of you probably know them, but I don't know if they want me to say who they are or not. So I'll just leave it at that mystery. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, feel free to let me know your thoughts on the collection here. I'm not going to run through it because I've run through it on a few recent videos. And when I get that 2011 year of the rabbit, I will go through each 
individual piece and just show you in a nice presentation. And um, you know, I'm probably gonna be hanging on to this because I bought them when they first came out and the, the premium on them is quite high and this is my last remaining one. Uh, however, if you are interested in it, let me know. Uh, let me know your thoughts on it and bear with me as I uh, work out the presentation uh, on the video. So thanks a lot, everybody, for tuning in. Hope everybody's doing well and uh, much love and respect. This is Stacker. Catch you on the flip side.